हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड स्मॉल सिग्नल ऑपरेशन नाउ लेट अस कंसीडर ए ट्रांसिस्टर व्हेन एन एसी सिग्नल इज अप्लाइड टू द बेस ऑफ ए ट्रांसिस्टर देन द एसी वोल्टेज विल अपीयर अक्रॉस बेस एमिटर टर्मिनल व्हिच इज नोन एज बेस एमिटर डायोड this produces sinusoidal variations in vbe if vbe varies the current ie will also vary this is shown in this figure as you can see when the sinusoidal input is applied across the base the voltage vbe varies correspondingly the current ie will also vary so here as you can observe a large ac voltage produces large variation in vbe as well as ie if we compare these two voltages the current ie is distorted because input and output are not equal as you can observe at the output the positive part of the current ie is more compared to negative part which means it is producing distorted output so this distortion can be reduced by using small signal operation so we can say large ac base voltage produces large variation that can lead to distorted output hence the distorted output can be reduced by using small signal operation so we can say small ac base voltage produces a small variation in the output hence it will avoid distortion now let us see how to reduce distortion so the distortion can be reduced by keeping ac base voltage very small if ac base voltage is kept small then there will be small variation at the output that will avoid distortion so we can keep ac base voltage small to reduce distortion so smaller the swing at input voltage will reduce distortion so this can be achieved by using 10% rule according to 10% rule for a small signal variation the ac emitter current which is peak to peak value of emitter current should be less than 10% of ieq as shown in this figure so ac variation at ie should be less than 10% to reduce distortion at the output here ie is equal to ieq plus small ie so here capital ie is the total current ieq is the dc emitter current and ie is the ac emitter current so we can say the ac signal is said to be small when peak to peak ac emitter current is less than 10% of dc emitter current so if the signal satisfies this condition we call the signal as a small signal and the amplifiers that satisfy 10% rule are known as small signal amplifiers so the amplifier that satisfies the 10% rule is known as small signal amplifiers now let us understand ac beta similar to dc beta the ac beta is the ratio of ac collector current to the ac base current so we can write beta ac is equal to small ic divided by small ib where small ic is pure ac collector current and small ib is pure ac base current now let us understand ac resistance of emitter diode if we say emitter diode it is the region between base and emitter the ac resistance across emitter diode can be given as small re dash that can be given as small vbe divided by small ie here the representation dash indicates that the resistance is inside the transistor that's why the ac resistance of emitter diode is represented as re dash 
here small VBE is the AC based emitter voltage and small IE is the AC emitter current. Now this figure shows the small signal variation across VBE that will cause small signal variation across the IE that will produce non-distorted output. So here output will not be distorted if there is small variation across VBE. That's why since we are using small signal output is not distorted. For example, if we take VBE is equal to 5 millivolt and IE as 100 micro amperes, at that case, we can write the AC resistance RE dash is equal to VBE is 5 millivolt divided by IE is 100 micro amperes. So the AC resistance of emitter diode will be equal to 50 ohm now if ie is equal to 200 micro ampere and re dash is equal to 25 ohm and vbe remains same as 5 millivolt then re dash will be equal to 5 milli divided by 200 micro ampere so that is nothing but 25 ohm so we can write one more formula for ac resistance of emitter diode as re dash is equal to 25 millivolt divided by dc emitter current so this is the standard formula for ac resistance of emitter diode from this formula we can say that the ac resistance of emitter diode will decrease when the dc emitter current increases because the value of vbe will remain a constant so we can say the ac resistance of emitter diode decreases as dc emitter current increases because vbe will remain constant also there is one more formula for ac resistance of emitter diode which can be given as RE dash is equal to capital VT divided by capital IE. Here VT can be given as KT divided by Q, where K is Boltzmann's constant, T is the temperature in Kelvin, Q is the charge of electrons. Here you need to remember some notations while studying the subjects. For example, for DC quantities, we'll use capital letters like IE, IB, IC, VCE, VBE, VE, VC, VB and so on. For AC quantities, we'll use small letters. For example, small IE, small ib small ic small vbe small vce small ve small vc and small vb and so on you need to remember these notations which are very important this is about small signal operation hope you have understood the topic thank you